Hello. We would like to share our technique for anterior and lateral compartment fasciotomies for chronic exertional compartment syndrome of the leg. Exercise-induced or exertional compartment syndrome is one of the more common causes of leg pain in athletes. Females were found to be at greater risk in a large population study in the U.S. military. However, the exact anatomic risk factors remain unclear. Patients usually present with vague complaint of leg tightness with running, typically with pain and frequently numbness on the dorsum of the foot. Pain usually begins after some time during the activity and subsides at some point after stopping. An accurate history is critical to obtaining the correct diagnosis, as there are other causes of leg pain in athletes. Posterior medial tibial stress syndrome is also common and must be ruled out. Standard radiographs should be obtained, and we prefer to obtain an MRI to help rule out other diagnoses. Again, an appropriate history is key to proper patient selection. A thorough physical examination is performed to include ABIs. It should be noted that fascial defects in the lateral compartment are fairly common. The utility of the exercise challenge test is still debated. There have also been some recent challenges to the use of the Pedowitz criteria. However, many clinicians still prefer to test compartment pressures after exercise. This testing can be especially helpful in complex or revision cases, but may not be necessary in all patients. There are indeed technical options for fasciotomy, from the classic open fasciotomy to an endoscopic approach. You can see the relative advantages and disadvantages of each, with differences in morbidity being offset by improved visualization and hence safety. We currently prefer to use the distal incision approach for our primary anterior and lateral fasciotomies in young athletes, reserving the two incision or open approach in revision in cases involving posterior compartments. This approach allows for direct visualization and protection of the superficial perineal nerve, but can be performed through a relatively small incision. The procedural steps include the identification of landmarks and incisional marking skin incision and dissection, identifying the superficial perineal nerve and decompressing it, identifying the anterior and lateral compartments, the lateral fasciotomy, followed by the anterior fasciotomy, and then finally wound closure. The patient is positioned supine on a standard operating room table. After a thigh tourniquet is placed, the operative extremity is prepped and draped. A bump a roll of towels can be placed under the hip of the operative extremity if a unilateral surgery is being performed to internally rotate the leg, thereby facilitating viewing by the surgeon. A bilateral lower extremity drape is useful if performing bilateral fasciotomies. 